Hi y'all, this is RS Operator from RadicalSurvivalism.com. Today, I want to do a prepper video review of the New Millennium Energy Bars. Now the reason I picked the New Millennium Energy Bars for this first video review is because this is the food source that my family uh, packs in a, both our bug out bags and in our uh, automobile get home bags. Um, and there's a, a whole host of reasons as to why we picked uh, these as our primary food source for, uh, for those uh, packs. So one of the main reasons uh, our family picked the new Millennium Energy Bars is because that these are individually packaged. Um, there are a lot of companies out there that make uh, the uh, emergency food, but uh, strangely enough, oftentimes they package it in such a way where you can't just open one serving of the food. You have you essentially tear open a package and, and you have multiple servings in there and you're consuming a small portion of it and trying to figure out a way to seal the rest of it back up, get it back in your bag and, and move on to your next objective. Uh, problem being is you can't really seal this stuff back up. It's already exposed to the elements. It's exposed to the outside air and whatever's in that air. And um, you essentially end up oftentimes with food in your pack that's got debris in it, that's got uh, soil in it. And um, not a smart way to package uh, emergency food, I don't think. I think uh, individual packaging is the way to go. And um, that's uh, one of the coolest features of the Millennium, uh, the new Millennium Energy Bars is that, yeah, they're packaged individually. You tear one open, you eat one. Uh, if you want another one, you tear another one open. You don't really have to worry as much about that, uh, that issue with uh, tearing open a whole bunch of these bars in one package and having them exposed to, like I said, dirt and uh, outside air, dirt, soil, potentially water. The last thing you want is your, your food in your bag to be uh, contaminated in any way. Each of the new Millennium Bars is 400 calories, and I like to call that high-efficiency food. Um, what I mean by that is that um, these are low in sodium. Um, that's really good because uh, the less sodium you have in your food, the less water you have to consume in order to digest the food. It's a great thing for uh, um, a preparedness situation so you don't have to worry about consuming an extraordinary amount of water just to be able to digest what you're eating. Also, for folks who are on a low sodium diet, have uh, blood pressure issues, uh, this is a really cool solution because the last thing you want to do in a, in a uh, high stress situation where your blood pressure is already probably elevated um, is to induce uh, or introduce uh, a lot of sodium into your diet at that time and then worry about um, you know, your, your blood pressure uh, spiking even more. Um, it's not a smart thing to do. It's especially not smart if you're uh, if if you're already having some blood pressure issues to to introduce uh, extra salt. So uh, again, going with a low sodium uh, food source in your uh, in your preps uh, in uh, during a high stress situation, low low sodium is always the way to go. So I was doing some research online and come up with a source that said during an emergency situation, an adult should consume about a minimum of 800 calories per day. And I'm not really buying that. Um, I'm uh, thinking that in a hunker down situation, you could get away with that, sure. But um, if you're uh, in the realm of 1,200 to 1,500 calories per day in a hunker down situation, I think that's more reasonable. Um, but uh, that being said, if we're talking a situation where you're uh, expending a lot of energy, you're moving around a lot, you're doing disaster cleanup, anything like that, um, where you're you're moving and you're lifting, uh, you're exercising essentially at that point, um, it's 1,200 to 15 calories. No, uh, you're you're going to be up well over 2,000 calories. And keep in mind that soldiers uh, in combat can can burn 2,000 to 5,000 calories per day. So um, just a piece of information to factor in when we're talking about uh, 400 calories per serving per bar um, with these new Millennium Bars. Um, that gives you an idea uh, in order to extrapolate and figure out uh, how many of these you may want to carry uh, in, in your gear, um, depending on what you're prepping for. The new Millennium Energy Bars are made in the United States. Uh, uh, they're actually made in a factory in Florida. Um, they are Coast Guard approved. 
um, they uh, feature a, a stamped five-year shelf life. And I can tell you from my personal experience, uh, having eaten one of these bars uh, up to three years past its expiration, we're talking an eight-year-old energy bar, the texture was what I would consider normal, the, the taste was what I would consider normal, moisture content normal. There was nothing that I could tell um, with regard to you know e eating uh, this eight-year-old uh, energy bar that there was anything wrong with it in any way. Uh, the New Millennium Bars uh, feature a pretty wide range of uh, temperatures in terms of the, their tolerance. Uh, you can store these uh, down to negative 22 degrees. You can also store them uh, uh, in temperature ranges uh, up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, that's a pretty wide temperature swing, and I can tell you that the, the bars that uh, we have in our bags, especially our um, our get home bags and the vehicles, you know, in the winter time, they do experience some pretty serious temperature drops because we oftentimes don't bring them inside. Uh, they stay in our vehicles overnight outside. Um, and um, in the summertime, again, sometimes the, our bags do stay in our vehicles outside um, uh, in the sun. So, you know, we, we're definitely talking these bars are uh, hitting, um, they're hitting temperatures probably in the range of 100 degrees and um, having them in our packs uh, for years at a time uh, and then taking the mountains, trying them out, they, they handle these temperature swings well. So all this being said, uh, the big question is, how do they taste? Um, my opinion, I think they taste good. Um, I'm not a particularly picky eater, so um, someone who is uh, potentially a picky eater may uh, disagree somewhat, but I can tell you that the reviews I've read online, I've read a lot of reviews on these, and uh, I've never really ha uh, seen where someone has posted that they taste terrible. I don't, I don't see how you could say that. Um, basically, what you have here is a... A, a, an energy bar that tastes like a shortbread cookie with this layer of fruit on top of that. Um, uh, again, I, I myself, I don't have any complaints with regard to how these taste. So the cons. Um, one thing I want to mention is that the new Millennium Energy Bars do contain soybean oil. If, uh, you know, if anybody out there uh, is unaware, um, there is no non-GMO source of soybeans left in the modern world. Therefore, if you eat any foods, uh, any food at all with soybean oil in it, you are essentially eating a GMO product. There's n uh, no way around that at this point in time. So if uh, you're interested in a non-GMO source of food, uh, a prepper food or emergency food, the, the new Millennium Bars are probably not going to be for you. Um, that being said, uh, if you aren't overly concerned with a small amount of soybeans uh, that, uh, that the new Millennium Bars contain, um, this is probably a non-issue. All right, the other thing I want to mention here, so there's full disclosure, is that the uh, new Millennium Energy Bars contain sodium propionate. If you're not familiar with this uh, substance, it is a preservative that's either added to or sprayed on food. It is deemed slightly toxic to human beings, but I want to put that into perspective. Um, it is as toxic to human beings as vitamin C. Take that as you will. All right, moving on to purchase information. Uh, the new Millennium Energy Bars uh, run about $20 per 12 pack. And of course, if you're shopping online, there are multiple sized packs available, um, depending on how many of these bars you want. Uh, good sources to get these. Amazon.com is a great source to get a great price. Uh, eBay is a great source to get a great price. And of course, the new Millennium Energy Bars are available from a wide range of preparedness-related websites, uh, preparedness-related retailers. All right, last thing I wanna add is that nobody provided samples for this uh, video review. Uh, the samples came from my initial purchase of the Millennium Bars to go into our bags. We've since pulled those out and rotated fresh in. We did that a couple weeks ago and it inspired me to put this uh, video together. So we can say that uh, the review samples for this video came from courtesy My Wallet. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, if you want to see more uh, reviews, if you want to see more prepper stuff, you can do that. Come and check us out at RadicalSurvivalism.com. If you want to keep an eye out for me on Twitter, that's cool too. Uh, I'm very active there. It's Twitter.com slash RadSurvival. Um, also, check us out on our Facebook page. And please do come to our YouTube channel and subscribe. We'll see you next time.